the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to the Mind, Body, Soul of Homemaking. I hope you all are doing well today, and I wanted to bring you along this morning. I am sitting down, of course, as always, writing out my to-do list, and just things that I want to get done, things that I want to start for the new year, and one of those is sourdough. Farmhouse on the Boon has everything you need to know about sourdough, and if you ladies are familiar with sourdough, leave me your tips below. I have done it in the past. I am going to go ahead and answer a few emails, and I see Molly uploaded a video, so I'm gonna watch that. Oh. Let's just go and get started. All right, ladies, so I watched Melissa's video. I will link it below. I know making a sourdough starter can be quite intimidating. You think it requires a lot of this work, but she really broke it down super simple. You can do your further research, and if you ladies have any tips or advice, um, let me know below this video. But overall, it's one cup of flour, one cup of water, so equal parts, and then that's for the first day. And then the next day, you remove half of it and repeat the same thing. One cup of water, one cup of flour, and you do that for five days. Move it, add more, remove it, add more for five days. And then after the fifth day, you'll see it start to like bubble and grow. Then you feed it from there on. If you leave it out in room temperature, you want to feed it every day. You can stick it in the refrigerator and it'll kind of put it on pause. It stays pretty cool in the house, so I might leave it in the oven with the light on just so it can have some sort of warmth to it. Or I might just make a little blanket for it. Go and get started and then I will update you on the results. As you see here, I am going through all my clothes again. I got rid of this vanity and I put it in the guest room so it's empty in there so that way if people come over they can put their clothes in there. But working on this room, getting rid of some clothes right now. I am time and tender Miss Victoria and I just put on my makeup. 
drinking my coffee, trying to do some voiceovers. Still in my robe, and I wanted to show you, ladies, the new addition to the room. We found this from a friend on a Facebook Marketplace, and she wanted 40 for it, but when Joe went to go pick it up, she just gave it to us. Thought about painting it white, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna keep it that color and just maybe um, finish it with some stain and stuff, because I just, I do like the wood color. It matches the few things in the house. There's Coda Bear, being a lazy bum. And we are gonna go grocery shopping. So I try to take Josiah to like the play area, because they have the jungle gym or whatever at Burger King but if any kids are there I try to resist because I don't want him to get sick and RSV was going around a couple weeks ago so I think it's died down now but it's a nice thing for him to do especially during the winter time if you can find um, something for your kids like to get physical activity because being stuck in the house <laughs> affects them too <laughs> so all right it's a little madhouse around here right now so I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed get ready Don't look before you leave What you give, you get to keep So long, farewell, bye-bye Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Ladies, we are back from the grocery store. I'm exhausted and no, I did not eat Burger King because I really am trying to take care of my health, have self-control <laughs> and be consistent because I try to look at food now as fuel and if it's not gonna fuel me and it's not gonna give me the energy to take care of Josiah and to take care of my home and make me feeling groggy and tired and just ugh, you know? So I find that that, you know, five minutes isn't worth it. It just really is not worth it. And so I'm gonna make some lunch and then put away groceries. And then we'll see what else we can get into today. So let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> 